This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Sometimes when reading emails, it can be quite useful if you can see those emails that went before it. So the forward and the backwards emails, so you can read the whole picture. Now usually, if people you're emailing leave the original message in and put their reply above it, when you read the email, it will read nicely down the page backwards. So you'll be able to read their reply, what you said before that, their reply before that, what you said before that. But sometimes some people actually remove the original message or their email program removes the original message and you'll open an email and you can't quite understand what they're on about. So for example, this one here from Guy Vaccaro, if I double click that, I can see, yes, but you really want me to tell me that. And I don't know what they're trying to tell me because I can't see the email that they're replying to. All that can be solved. If we close this email and turn on conversation threads, then Outlook will match this email to the emails you sent previously and any replies that have come back. So we do that for the whole folder. So if we go to view for our inbox, and this is the little bit here that does the work for us, conversations, in the drop down, we have the option to show messages in conversations. That's great. We might need to see messages from other folders because we might need to see the sent items folder or you might have filed items. So we'll choose that option. And then you can see next to that email has appeared a very tiny gray triangle that if you click, it will expand out and show you the conversation thread. So two emails are in sent items and then one email is in the main inbox. Now that will have done it for all the emails in here. So if we click through any with a little triangle there, we can say expand to see. So that has a couple of emails behind it. Any more down here? That one there, expand. So you can see the original and then two sent items. Now you could choose to always expand the conversations and that saves you clicking on the little triangle. So if you say always expand conversations, then when you choose an email, if it has a conversation thread, it will expand. And we can see here we have two sent items and then the email guy for car, which is this one really. So I can double click that to read that. Information I sent you the other day is very important. Or I can double click that one. I did not, but not anymore. Or I can click that one. Yes, but do you want me to tell me that? So that's actually a copy of this. But these are the emails that form part of that conversation. And then on any others that I click on, they will now automatically expand out, showing all the conversation thread. And obviously, sometimes some emails will go on for longer than others. That's got three behind it. That's got two. So we can see the whole thread that way, that one there. Now that's using the self-expand on the opt conversations. It's always expand conversations. Perhaps you don't want to. So you remove the tick and then that involves you having to click the icon next to it to expand that out. There is even an option here of use classic indented view to expand that out. And it hardly looks much different really, does it? So you can leave that on or off. But the main thing is whether you actually see the conversations so that's this top option, show messages in conversations. Take that off and I only see the emails that have actually arrived. Turn it on and these emails that have conversation threads will now have a triangle next to them that I can then expand out. But obviously I need to go through to find the ones that I'm interested in or we can choose always expand. So you're in control of whether you see these conversations or not. Personally, I tend to leave them off and then turn it on when I'm trying to find out conversation thread. Maybe I've got an email come back. I'm not quite sure what they're replying to. I would come into here and activate it for the minute. And I'm already on the email I'm interested in. And then I would expand that out. That might help me track down what I sent to them, what they sent to me, what I sent to them, etc. But leaving it all the time can be really be quite confusing and annoying when these are sort of popping out and popping in as they feel fit. So that's the turn off but you can turn it on whenever you so wish.